you're still watching ways now it's world goth day today perhaps black isn't your color well you'll be happy to know that being goth isn't just about wearing black or anything black clothing it's a whole culture as it should be everyone who is into the goth subculture now has a day to celebrate who they are go out and embrace your inner goth or your outer gut. <laughs> if I had known, I, what I would have just done was that I would have come I've in seen looking so like that I, I with my happy. makeup I'm and so everything. I'm so happy I changed my outfit. I'm going to wear black. I'm mm -hmm. wearing black. I'm, yeah, and, but I don't subscribe to because I don't know. That's not. I'm not a thing. fan, trust yeah. me. But Neither am I. So but it's just very dark and scary. Exactly, nah. is the way of fashion. And well, I think I love black. It's the way of fashion and they no, also like have literary me, work you know, that is kind like of actually gothic. If I have like 10 clothing, I think I must have maybe 8 black Oh no, but Outfits. a lady must have a black dress. No, not one. Artist. You know, not the little black dress. <laughs> not little black dress. Oh, <laughs> all black dress. Because all what, what, I, what I do for me, because I'm on a budget. Even. Not even that. I'm on a budget. And so, you can accessorize. So yeah, yeah. today you can throw in Absolutely. a blue cape, tomorrow white like cape. You don't need, yeah, you don't can to, wear this tomorrow. Absolutely. You don't need to break the bank to That's look true. good. So exactly. I keep saying to people, if you put, if you set your terms, you mm. will not be under any, any form of pressure. So... To all the no, God people, people out there, very embrace your inner and outer <laughs> God. <laughs> all right, so Isi, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, in the news today, um, it's all about health, basically. And uh, basically, health, the story on health workers has been a bit um, topsy-turvy. And um, some are loving them, some are actually hating them and attacking them. So we have uh, Governor El Rufai of Kaduna State saying that all health workers, he came up with a draconian... Um, what's it called? Um, draconian law mm -hmm. that says that all health workers should have a pay cut of 25% or... All health workers. All health workers, 25% cut and failure to um, face... To, um, no, failure to um, show up at the office. After a pay cut. After a pay cut, you will be definitely... Fired. Fired. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. So the question, my first question is, what kind of leadership style do we call that? Ha-ha. Hmm? <laughs> Number one. I, for Number me, why I, why I took this story is yeah. this, that the health workers are being frontliners. That's basically. what I'm going to say. And like, it is so unfair. Shouldn't it be the other them. one, like you're increasing their salary? It is so that unfair of um, the governor to say, okay, we're going to take a pay cut for those who are the health workers. And in, on top let's of this... Let's not even say unfair so that we don't sound emotional. Let's, I, I'm emotional about it. <laughs> it's, let's look at the fact that the health workers are having the hazard allowance, which is close Amiga, to Peter's. Yeah, yeah. It is minimal, mm -hmm. close to nothing. So I think... The leaders, as a leader, he should have done something better than saying no, I, that. I absolutely agree with you. Yes. And the reason I say let's not sound emotional, like even if we're not, because people can argue that, oh, you know what, we're ju we just have to make decisions. But mm -hmm. these are the people that are making sure that we stay alive during, especially during this time. And I don't even think that their salary was even Guess significant what? They before. haven't had a break. They haven't had a break. They've what, not had... So question, what were they earning prior? And why are you cutting they've that further? Worked, like it doesn't make any they've sense. They've worked twice as much while we were at home we're doing nothing they were working wow. so i think so it's we so need unfair to, well we need to move on that's okay, like, what so did you find first that mm -hmm. flows perfectly into my story so it's inflation and mm -hmm. so the national bureau of statistics this is across all the newspapers mm -hmm. says um, inflation has reached a 23 month high now at 12.34 percent mm -hmm. And what's been happening month on month, as expected, is it's been rising across both urban and rural areas. Um, but the, the main um, trigger in that um, consumer price index is the food price index. So food prices are going up. We know why. Agriculture, the whole agricultural value chain, because of the lockdown, um, you know, you can't, the, the production, the, the distribution, the processing, all Supply. of that have been impacted. So mm -hmm. obviously there's a knock-on effect of price. So what does this mean for everybody? Lower class, middle class will suffer. Mm. So lower class that are already struggling to feed will find it harder to afford food. Uh, middle class that have now got their salaries cut will find it difficult to afford. Like, it's just crazy. So it's shocking to hear that, you know, Governor El Rufai has taken this in yes. when inflation has gone to a 23-month high. high. Exactly. It's very disturbing. It's, it's disturbing because um, uh, an organization reached out to me from the UK to do something like a, a palliative for families that are, in fact, have been packing and packing all morning. Mm. I just literally finished packing, jumped into the bathroom, had my bath and started coming down to the mm. studio. 
and the palliatives I had gone I had given out the prizes to them ahead of time only for me to try to place an order and they're telling me oh sorry prices the prices have, have changed so it is actually mm -hmm. affecting everybody everybody and especially mm -hmm. when we need we know that food is essential well that also links to my story um, so um, uh, the former com minister for information um, What's her name? Mobola Johnson. Okay. Yeah, she was saying that um, she resumed the office after six weeks of lockdown, only to find electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosts have been working. Like, so who has been working there? Like, it is crazy. So she tweeted on Twitter, she mm. tweeted that, you know, um, how can you leave your office for six weeks? And guess what even was most interesting about right. this um, scenario? The, the amount of money they charged her, 20, 29,000, I think, or, or so, that was the cost for the electricity bill, was the highest. So even, when she, was, she even was, when she was working, and they were, you know, they were working in the office, they had, not gotten, they had not gotten <laughs> that. Yeah, power. they had not gotten. Um, so she's now wondering who, who actually oh, generated this, this bill. bill? It's an estimated bill, of course. And she tweeted, and Ike, I'm sorry, Echo Distribution yes. Company Who replied immediately and said that, okay, she should send in their DMs and, um, and screen snap mm. her receipts and all of that and let her, um, so they can escalate it and see where this, um, well, you know, of course, Let's say it's an Twitter error. people this, came at them. This, 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 you know? this, this is because she is uh, she's of the high class. No, of course, class. but see, it what is good that she is man, for me. Do you know what? When it happened for movies. me, I said, perfect. This is the best person mm -hmm. to actually talk about this. Because she's, uh, sorry, she's a former uh, minister for communication. Okay. Okay. You know, I said she's the perfect person to say this because... A lot of Nigerians are crying out. This is what is happening. So they are not Nobody responding. Nobody listens. Nobody so this now got, made people know that, okay, yes, now somebody has res responded. So a lot of people that had issues started can going, now on now, the, can you just contact on the back me as that. well? Okay. Yeah. So we are happy that she spoke up. Fantastic. You know, it's important because we're talking about price inflation. I was exactly. coming, as I was coming, I was listening to the news over mm. the radio and they're talking about even Lagos State cutting down their budget. And I'm happy we're talking yeah, budgets on Sunday that, yeah. mm -hmm. because Lagos is cutting down their budget. Everybody's cutting down. So it's possible that El Rufai, Linking to your story, it's yeah. possible that he's looking at it that where are, the, where are the places that I can cut off budget because we don't have funds. But to not the health So you know what? Workers. That's not, not where to cut. Workers. I'm sorry. Definitely. Not that's that's, that's what I'm saying. That that's that's where be emotional else. intelligence for a leader there, comes exactly. in. Exactly. That's, empathy yeah, that's where empathy play. comes in as a leader. Yes. Because that would demoralize of course it the will. health workers. And demotivate of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I think we, we're good with um, what we found in the news. Um, so Dr. Sam Adeyemi will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.